Good evening, everybody. Uh, myself, Arun Kumar. I'm from Tamil local education team. And my colleague, Mr. Rajan Julian. So, both are presenting uh, our challenges uh, in localization, Tamil localization, as well as uh, localized version of the office divide in our translation public family schools. So, 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 we want to reach uh, the Libro office. Uh, Tamil interface should be uh, usable by more, more ideas. I mean, it should be used by all the Tamil speaking uh, people. And then, we need to provide a better and quality uh, Tamil translation in Libro office so that it will be used across uh, all the uh, people. Uh, currently, it is not used even though it is fully translated in Tamil. Uh, so, we will speak about uh, the LibreOffice development in Manishin Tamil School later. But as a localization project, we want to reach uh, ideas from government agencies, uh, schools, maybe students and teachers. And then uh, want to reach general public because most of the ideas of general public. Okay. So we are seeing two key challenges uh, in doing under translation for the profits. Uh, one is technology across I think across all the language um, they have such issue. Maybe in, in Tamil. Uh, our uh, technical glossary is uh, still uh, in a work in progress. We are not yet, uh, you know, having a complete uh, a standard list so that it can be referred across all the projects. So now it has been, uh, you know, uh, translated or uh, added by different communities among uh, our people. Uh, one is from Tamil Virtual Academy. Uh, which is in South India. They are uh, uh, providing education uh, over the internet. I mean, they do kind of virtual uh, courses. So, what they do? They have a list of glasses which is being announced, uh, followed by uh, a community, as well as uh, well initiative, which is by federal community. Uh, they initiated this project to standardize the glossary uh, across all the uh, open source projects, uh, but still it is not reviewed further after the initiative. So it has to be discussed among many other uh, people, not just the open source volunteers, because it is being used by many other, uh, I mean, it will be used by wider audience. So without their, uh, if we uh, design one term, and we cannot judge whether it will be the uh, right thumb to use. Mm -hmm. So it, it should be acceptable by uh, many people. So as part of uh, community activity, there is a free Tamil computing uh, volunteers. They run, we are branch of that community group. And we have uh, set up uh, glossaries uh, for our Tamil translation, we refer to it. And we still we keep changing that because we don't know whether uh, what we we today we give some translation whether it satisfied or not. So after some over the period, by listening to many people how they are uh, using the same thing in their uh, convenience. So depending upon that, we are uh, keep changing the uh, terminology. Uh, yeah, as I said, we when we conclude, for example, uh, say design, and it is, it, it may be, uh, in, in Tamil we say Vadibam, uh, okay, but it may be, it may, be, it may not be a right one at this time, because there is no translation for this word, for example, I am telling, okay, maybe 
it may not be reachable to the end, end users. They are not able to understand what we are trying to say. Whether whether it may be used useful. I mean, in the day, day to day life, they should be able to use that uh, design word in Tamil as they speak. If it is not fitting into their, uh, you know, the way they speak, then it is not useful. So that is one of the challenge that we are facing. We even uh, here I mentioned slide. Slide nothing but in Tamil. Uh, but as a translator, even I am not using it as frequently as I am. Since I am translating, I am not using it. So practically, we are planning to, uh, you know, uh, bring this entire translation to the end user. So it's one of the challenge which we are facing currently. In the same way, label. Even from my childhood, I have used. Uh, electricity in Tamil. Okay, I never used in such a word, but we we continue to use label. So still the English is dominating in our day to day life, even though we speak Tamil as our mother mother language. The next challenge what we see is uh, context sensitivity. So. When we are doing the translation, uh, we don't. We just assume whether it may be used in this way or that way. So with that assumption, we translate some of the words, which may be uh, in English may be uh, correct. But when we are uh, using it in Tamil, uh, for now, for work, it, the the pronunciation will vary. I mean, the word itself will, will differ. For example. Design in, in English, we, we say in Tamil, Vadivam, Vadivam Ekpa. It's a noun. When it, when it comes for verb, it becomes Vadivam So it's So the, in English, it's fine, but uh, in Tamil, it changes. So without contact information uh, provided for the translator, uh, we cannot just uh, Give either Padigamai or Padigamai. So I do Padigamai. My another colleague in some other string, he will translate it as uh, Padigamai. So it will change the context. So when when I use it in Tamil interface, I will see it is not appropriate. So we have to again go back and change the translation as it as it should be. No, it should be uh, usable by the end user. Yeah, we see uh, some ambiguity uh, while using yes or no uh, kind of translation for Tamil. For example, uh, we say harm or random for yes. Okay, we can we can use both of them, but we don't know in which in which context which one is all right. So without seeing the context, so it is difficult for us to. Use either uh, either one other translation. So that's one kind of challenge. Uh, I heard there are some key ID features uh, which is being uh, used uh, for uh, not debugging the translation related uh, issues because we, we may do translation that it may not be appropriate, but using the key features we can find out on replacing. But I may do I may do it, but I cannot uh, you know teach all the volunteers who are doing the translation. So, again, uh, it's a challenge for uh, as a volunteer uh, to do the right translation and uh, give the quality uh, of the translation so that uh, it will be uh, used by the end users. Uh, here, uh, just one example uh, from Google. Uh, the English sentence usually it is written in subject verb object format, but in Tamil it's uh, it's little it different subject object verb. So what happens? Uh, it will start uh, finding errors. It's a usual case for Tamil, but uh, as per the Google design, it's okay. So so these are some of the challenges uh, we are we are addressing. But still, we are able to uh, 
uh, to the translation, uh, whenever there is a release and we are able to complete at least 90% or 100% and uh, we do uh, uh, release events uh, whenever uh, we are able to do it and we are trying to reach uh, uh, more audience so that uh, the, the awareness about uh, Lipo office in Tamil and it, it will reach more people so that uh, they will adapt using Lipo office and my friend Hilchulian will talk about uh, him and Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yes. Can you hear me? Okay. Uh, yeah, I think we can use that one. Better? It's not for the better, I think it takes a color. Is it? Okay. For the recording. Yeah. Alright. Okay. Um, so, yeah, uh, we, we heard about some of the challenges. Um, Really because you know, well, one of the things that we are trying to do is make it uh, uh, one word that Arun keep, kept on using is making it user friendly so it's relevant to the people who are using it and they, they feel okay, this is helpful for me. Uh, ultimately, that's all the whole translation is about to help them achieve whatever end objective they have. So, uh, that's a challenge. So, when we try to make it almost perfect, almost uh, you know, flawless, uh, that's why we have all kinds of issues. Um, Anyway, we're, we're managing it. Nonetheless, what, one of the things that we, we did was uh, implementation uh, in, in across schools. So uh, this is a, a challenge. Maybe many many other languages are you know, minority languages or uh, small languages with small user groups are facing. So the the among the Tamil community, I think English is uh, a dominant language, especially among the elite. Uh, educated population. So, uh, uh, especially in lecture days, that's where I'm coming from. Uh, Tamils consider themselves officially fluent to you know, use, so they don't see the need to you know, uh, adopt a software that's in Tamil. So they, they're quite comfortable using an English software. Uh, but what happens, however, is when they, you know, after that small circle of people who use English habitually, they try to extend it beyond that circle to uh, ordinary people, so that, that, that they started in 1990 onwards, they try to teach uh, IT. IT means uh, essentially application software to kids in schools. We're talking about school kids in primary level, not higher college level, uh, school kids. And the outcome is not so good. So after, you know, since 1990 in Malaysia, you know, we've been doing this, um, after 20 years or so, it's still like, you know, we, they found that it's they didn't move beyond the very very basic level, you know. So, um, so it was felt that maybe there's a need for something else. So that's when uh, so you know they contacted spoke to me. I was involved in uh, localizing uh, Liprop before that open office since 2003 onwards. So they the school uh, the NGOs that were working in schools they spoke to me in 2008. So we thought maybe we could do something about it, uh, where we implement the entire uh, teaching of IT in uh, IT applications in um, uh, in, in terms of community. So it, it it was somewhat convenient because that's when um, Ubuntu came came out, uh, the Ubuntu version, the Linux distribution came out. So it was uh, uh, we could come up with a reasonably cost-effective solution. So Ubuntu had LibreOffice inside it, so we thought that that's a good uh, solution for us to try out, and we did. And in 2009, we tested out uh, to school. Then the concept was the purpose was to assess the effectiveness of teaching ICT in native language, which is Tamil. Number two is to create a market. Uh, for us, it was, this is a good opportunity because we felt that we are translating for many years and there's no user, like there's no really user community out there. So that thought, we thought maybe we can create a, um, you know, a user group that uses Tamil UI and also customize applications that are, you know, that, that are specific to Tamil. For example, uh, like spell checker. Until then we never had a Tamil spell checker or Tamil grammar checker. We never had that. Um, you know, so this was an opportunity for us to 
create a, a need for such things. Um, so we, we embarked on those projects. Um, so we used, as I said, uh, Ubuntu and Hello was one of the things. And beyond this, implementing, uh, it's not just a, like a soft a hardware project. So it's not like, okay, we set up a computer lab. Uh, actually, it's uh, and or not just a computer lab and you know install the software. We also develop uh, workbooks. We provide training and coaching to teachers. So the teachers and the, you know everyone is involved in that. They they are sufficiently proficient in you know handling this. So it's not one-off exercise. It's a continuous high-touch exercise. Right? So uh, over the years, so, so you know, the time is in 2009, so now we're in 2015. Over the years, we started with two schools. Now we have 72 schools that are implementing uh, this project. Uh, serving, uh, we started with 430 students. Uh, and then, because it was, uh, I, I think it was somewhat successful, the kids were able to do a lot of things. And then it, it sort of impressed people came in the donor community as well as the government agency guys who came. They saw and they said, okay, these kids who are very young, from, you know, we're talking about seven, eight, nine year old kids who can do a lot of things without knowing English. The proficiency in English is not that much, but they could still, uh, you know, develop in, you know, they can do a lot of things uh, in the software. They can use the software, you know, they can paint, paint stuff, you know, draw stuff, they can write stuff in their mother tongue, because that's the language they're learning. They're learning Tamil as their primary language. They can already type in Tamil. They can write like essay, they can go and search some stuff in the internet and you know, put together a, a presentation. It could be a presentation, it could be a word document. They can do all these kind of things without you know, having the fear of, oh no, I don't know English. Because they can do all this without that, that need. And subsequently, of course, they develop English because English is taught from one nation school. But that's not the first thing that you, you know. Uh, so we kind of say, well, you know, English is that. It's not, necessary. it's not a precondition for you to learn IT. So that's the whole point of this uh, exercise. And then after that, they, they become somewhat fluent and then they don't really require time on English. You know, they, they understand the software somewhat. And so that's that, yeah. And then um, so other developments is Malaysian government is a major contributor. So the, the government now is a major funder of this project. Because uh, next one is a free software. And we have created a lot of people, the teachers, the communities, local communities, the students that have that become teenagers now. So they have there's a, we can see a, a fledgling group of enthusiasts for uh, open office or open source uh, projects. So they're doing other things on their own. Um, so now we have time for that, you know, so having done that for so preparing them for competitions. Yeah, maybe there will be a higher end users who can go into you know, software development proper, not just stop at application level, going for other things. And so that's where we are right now uh, after five, six years. So, um, so but then uh, Malaysia is, is not a big, it's not a major. Tamils are actually a minority in Malaysia. We make up seven percent of the population, roughly uh, less than seven, uh, two million people, uh, which is okay. But comparing India, where you know there are 70, 70 million Tamils, so you know there's a big population out there who is not used using this at all. So I think there's a um, latent potency. There's a market out there which, is not, which hasn't realized. And I think they should see what we're doing. You know, that's, that's what I'm thinking. But we have to go and convince the government, I don't know, whoever, that, that this is possible to actually teach uh, kids you know, language. And they, can, they love this stuff. That's, that's the whole point. It's not about teaching the language itself. It's teaching IT to kids so that they, their potential is realized, even while they're young. You don't have to go to college you know, by the time they learn English and do other things. They can realize this very young, especially if they are talking about kids who don't teach English as a first language, you know. So I think that's the target we are talking about. And then uh, we have a clip from my you know, school, so I thought um, I just did a quick one from all the kids. And it will be useful to get to for you to understand. <laughs> Lada 
சயின்ஸ் தமிழ் பள்ளியில் பயில்கிறேன் லிப்ரா ஆஃபீஸ் மென்பொருள மூன்று ஆண்டுகளாக பயன்படுத்தி வருகிறேன் என்னுடைய அனைத்து பள்ளி வேலைகள் லைக் பாட்டியாக்ஸ் ப்ரெசன்டேஷன் இவை அனைத்தும் நான் லிப்ரா ஆஃபீஸ் வணக்கம் என் பேர் அஸ்வின் நான் லாடா ஹைலண்ட்ஸ் தமிழ் பள்ளியில் பயில்கிறேன் லிப்ரா ஆஃபீஸ் மென்பொருள மூன்று ஆண்டுகளாக பயன்படுத்தி வருகிறேன் என்னுடைய அனைத்து பள்ளி வேலைகள் லைக் ப்ராஜெக்ட்ஸ் ப்ரெசன்டேஷன் இவை அனைத்தும் நான் லிப்ரா ஆஃபீஸ் ரெக்டர் இம்ப்ரெஸ் ப்ரெஷி போன்ற மென்பொருள்களில் நானும் என் பள்ளியில் பயிலும் அனைத்து மாணவர்களும் பயன்படுத்தி வருகிறோம் இந்த லிப்ரா ஆஃபீஸில் எனக்கு பிடிச்சது என்னென்னா இந்த மென்பொருளை முழுமையாக தமிழ்லேயே பயன்படுத்த முடியும் நேரடியாகவே ஃபைல்ஸை பிடிஎஃபாக மாற்ற முடியும் எந்த ஃபார்மேட்டில் வேண்டுமோ அந்த ஃபார்மேட்டில் எளிமையாக மாற்ற முடியும் இங்கிலீஷ் மட்டும் இல்லாமல் தமிழில் கூட ஸ்பெல்லிங் செக் பண்ண முடியும் இதெல்லாம் எனக்கு ரொம்ப பிடிக்கும் இந்த லிப்ரா ஆஃபீஸை இன்னும் மேம்படுத்துறேன்னா ஐகான்ஸை இன்னும் கொஞ்சம் இஃபெக்டாக போட்டு அழகாக இருக்கலாம் இம்ப்ரெஸ் ப்ராக்ராமில் நிறைய விதவிதமான அனிமேஷன்ஸ் ஏற்படலாம் இன்னும் நல்லா பார்க்க கவர்ச்சி அழகாக புதிய டிசைனில் உருவாக்குனா எங்களுக்கு இந்த லிப்ரா ஆஃபீஸை பயன்படுத்த இன்னும் ஆர்வமாக இருக்கும் லிப்ரா ஆஃபீஸ் இஸ் அ ஃப்ரீ சாஃப்ட்வேர் வி கேன் டவுன்லோட் ஃப்ரம் இன்டர்நெட் அண்ட் யூஸ் இட் ஃபார் அவர் ஓன் ஆஃபீஸ் ஒர்க் வி கேன் டூ எவ்ரி திங் ஃப்ரம் லிப்ரா ஆஃபீஸ் சாஃப்ட்வேர் Thank you for the Libra Office Dynamics. <laughs> we always always look for more people and you know, enthusiastic so. Any comments questions Okay thank you uh, one last question oh, okay. so uh, <coughs> no actually it's Sri Lanka the Tamil is not a national language so, uh, I think 4 million people speak Tamil in Sri Lanka so uh, maybe you can consider uh, talking to our government uh, uh, while you are talking in Vietnam. So, because
because there is no uh, active trans uh, translation or happening from children. Yeah. Yeah. No, uh, to me, uh, there are two parts to this equation. One is the government, but government is, you know, they they have this one size to all thing approach to agility. They want to fix solutions fast, right? Cheap and all that. But the, so that's but then they're necessary. They need to provide funding, you know, they need to provide the you know, make schools available, for example. But the most important is the the entrepreneur, the, the, the group of people or person or a group of people who are very, very committed, who will go and you know knock the doors, will make it happen in a school and something breaks down, will go and repair. That is the thing that's most important. For example, with us, we found an NGO that we work with closely, and these guys, uh, so that was one guy who was very committed, and then we have now set up a team of about seven or eight people, you know, uh, so they can um, get the stuff. Uh, this, this is a very important person, right? They are the one who is negotiating or dealing with the government on a regular basis. Whatever the government wants, they will go and you know, provide that. Convince the government that this, this is working. You know, if someone says, some kind of a criticism or comment, whatever, they will go and fix it up. Um, so that that person is necessary. So if, for example, in Sri Lanka, we need to have that person who will, you know, be the bridge between the schools and the government. And for example, for us, we are coming from outside. So I'm say, I'm looking at the same thing for India. Otherwise, it's very difficult from outside to go and influence in another country. Uh, you'd have to have a local presence. Uh, we have right now one person between government and the schools, but it's my. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. I can help. Uh, yeah, we're ready. I went to India once and looked at it, but I haven't been very successful so far. Thank you.